This is our beef episode and you know we had to do a burger. And Katie on Facebook says that Owen and Engine on Western has the best one. So good in fact, her boyfriend calls it the ruin your life burger. Cause you'll never have a better one. Oh well, had a good run. Bo, I feel very at home at Owen and Engine. Why could that possibly be? Because we're a bitter gastropub. Cool, fly me, governor. Yeah, baby. I love it. So tell us a little bit about what you guys do and what you're famous for here. Kind of famous for bangers and mash. And I know it's not very British, but our iconic burger. This is like the juiciest burger. Good burger. Just a straight up burger. A shot of bourbon, a beer, and the burger. We do a very, very dense burger that almost becomes pot roast-like. And then we take a potato bun, so meat and potatoes, the quintessential British food. Cricket and fog and the Beatles. I and got... afternoon tea with the Queen. Exactly. So we're in the bowels of Owen and Engine. The engine room. The engine room. If you like. And this is where you make your patties. So we've got here chuck, which is your kind of your classic meat for beef patties. It kind of keeps it structurally sound. But for flavor, there's nothing like brisket, right? It just has a beefier flavor. And then you've got short rib, which has just a ton more umami and fat. So the combination of the three kind of makes for that perfect patty. With our three beef blend all ready to go, Chef Bo and I head for the grill. Okay, Chef, so we have our unique ground patties now. So what do I have to do first? Be aggressive in your seasoning here. Okay. Oh. Yep. Now put her down right there. And now you're gonna put some more salt on top. Chef Bo's burger needs to be cooked to exact standards. So you want a two millimeter crust under there. You're gonna wa wait for that to build up until you hit like that much crust. While we wait for like that much crust, we toast the potato bun and Chef prepares the caramelized onions. I didn't realize there was this much art that went into making a burger. There's so much art to making a great burger because we make a simple burger. Simple caramelized onions and good beef. That's the difference. It has to be good, right? I think it's about time I find out for myself. Let's eat. It's a really juicy burger. Great, great beef, meat flavor. Exploded pretty much with juice. It's very good. It looks plain looking, but when you bite into it, it's so succulent. Juicy, succulent, like the Nile River of beef juice flavor. <laughs> it's a wonder of the world. Wow, when you put it like that, yeah, it really is. Bo, it almost doesn't seem right that we're even gonna eat these. I think you did an excellent job of cooking it and you've earned every right to eat it. Should we take a journey together? What do you think? That's food ballet. There's so much artistry, balance, harmony, that coarse grind gives it a different dimension. I'm like any other burger. I'm just in awe of everything that goes into that. But why are you Chicago's best for beef? We want it to just be what it is, that you really taste the beef and it makes the simple burger elevated to something that kind of tastes like, should I say, steak on a bun. I'm never gonna eat another burger again.